What if, if you have a industry alike SPICE program in your home PC so that you can learn and practice SPICE in industry ready format? In today's episode, we will install ng SPICE in Ubuntu Linux. Stay tuned till the end of the video. Hey guys, welcome back and we are installing ng SPICE today. Here you can see ng spice website this is the website here you can see ng spice is an open source spice simulator and all the menus here you can explore by yourself the page that you should go is the documentation because the installation i will show you hands-on that will do not need to search here and today we are installing this in the linux environment so that is not documented here in the documentation you can find the different manuals here the ng spice manuals you can go through it to understand and here you can see there is a tutorial by market you can see this is the tutorial links now let me click on to the tutorials here there are several tutorials even ng spice tutorial for beginners control language manual icad or e schema gui okay so all these things are there so there is a electro thermal simulation device model so this this is the menu of the tutorial if which you want to explore now if you scroll down right there are several tutorials on the web so you can see this is the tutorial on the web so all these things are here you can explore them by yourself and here are some video tutorials you can see here the video tutorials are clubbed and listed as per category and here by the presenter and you can see different uh, ng spice tutorials videos are there you can go through it so here we will stop and let me go back to its home page the things i have made crisp what you need you can just go up to that point and uh, search things another thing i would like to mention here you can see here this is the gnu plot so this is the website don't worry i will provide the two website url in the video description so that you can find them and you can use them to directly go to the page you can see here so the gnu plot is a portable command line graphing utility so you can see here this is a 3d graph and this is a 2d graph so this kind of graphs if you want to plot inside the linux environment you must need the gnu plot so here are several other things you can go to the documentation page here here you will find right the documentations you can see the pdf format is here right current is here old is here and the older is here so from here you can also download the documentation and let me go back and uh, here is the download page but however since we are installing in ubuntu linux i'll show you the direct way of installing from the command prompt now let me go back to here and we open the terminal here is our terminal. The command that I will type here first to install the ng spice. So you can see I have typed sudo apt get install ng spice. So this is the necessary and sufficient command. However, in case in your machine, if you need some dependencies, you have to install it separately. You can go to stackoverflow.com to search how you can install the dependencies. So let me hit the enter key. It is asking for the password. Let me give it. And you can see the installation process has begun. Right. It is proceeding. And you can see the installation is done. So after this, just point out things here. So you can see zero upgraded, one newly installed. This one newly installed is ng spice. And you can see that lot of packages. You can see a message here, right? Sudo app remove all these packages. So this is not related to the ng spice. However, these are some packages. They are lying in the background in the Ubuntu, the installation that I currently have. These are not needed, or you can say they these packages have become redundant that's why the installer the sudo apt installer right that is messaging us to get the sudo apt auto remove to remove all these redundant uh, packages so this is don't uh, have a headache whether it is related to the ng spice or not so these are some packages that are lying in the ubuntu which is now redundant you can remove this is a separate message so don't relate it with the ng spice so let me clear the screen Here now we will install the GNU plot. So let me type the command. 
so i have typed sudo apt get install gnu plot so this is the command to install in the ubuntu linux and this is sufficient here right now in your machine in case you need some dependency during the installation you will be prompted and all those dependencies have to be installed separately and how to install those dependency you can go to the stackoverflow.com and there you will get some suggestions so let me proceed here let me hit the enter key you can see the installation process has begun for the GNU plot. So here you can see again the removal message is coming. So you can see this is coming again and again. So this is related with the system. So that's why it is giving. And here you can see one is newly installed, right? So this one is GNU plot, which sudo apt get install command has installed. So here we are done with our installation. Let me close this terminal here. And let me go back to the folder. Here I have kept one PICE file. Let me open it with the text editor. So you can see here this is a plain and simple RC circuit. We have a C1 and R1, right? We have provided VDD and we are providing a AC here, AC signal here. And if you go down right, here is a OP. OP is for the operating points. Those things are here and you can see the dot control. In a detailed tutorial, we will go for all this description on this PIs thing. However, this is an installation episode. So we will keep it short here. And here you can see the running instructions so this entire thing right is dot control and nc this is for this this is for your ng spice instructions this is your spy circuit and this is the ng spice instructions so here you can see it is calling the gnu plot by itself during its run and uh, it is plotting the different uh, voltages and here i have kept or commented some writing raw files i'll not go in this direction today however just i'll show you how you can run this thing with the ng spice and how gnu plot opens up all those plots that are here let me close it let me open a terminal here so that we are directly inside the folder where this is let me do a ls you can see the rc.sp is here here you can go for the rc.sp so you'll run the spice file with ng spice so let me type and next to the ngspice command, we will give the rc.sp, the spice file that I have just shown you. And if I hit end, let us see what happens. So you can see here, different plots are coming here. Three GNU plot windows have opened. Let me minimize this. And here you can see, here you can see the ngspice has run. This is the past part of its log, run log. And here you can see, this is the topmost comment that that is the first line of the spice file that has been echoed in the screen and you can see all these things are coming because of the control commands that we have given at the last here you can see it has uh, run and let me go back here the uh, plots so this is one particular plot and here is another plot three plots are here so there are three plots here this is of your example purpose i am not going into the circuit or what is inside the graph or how to interpret the graph i am not going in that direction because this is an installation episode you just have to become familiar how to install and run that tool don't worry i will provide this particular circuit file the sp file in the video description from where you can actually download it directly and you can use it after the installation you can see this is the first graph, this is the second graph and this third graph that has been generated by the command. Let me go back once here, let me open it with the text editor. So here you can see in this dot control section that means it is the beginning and the nc is the end. So here I have F3 GNU plot command and this is generating three different graphs. And here you can see the three different graphs are here. So I think here we'll stop in today's episode. So today we have installed the ng spice and the GNU plot in the Ubuntu operating system. And I have also shown you the documentation and the tutorials pages from where you can pick up your learning or start your learning. And I also have shown the running of the ng spice and which automatically calls the GNU plot. And that's how our episode ends here. Thank you for watching up to this point and don't forget to like share and subscribe in case you have some dislikes put that as in words in comment section and bye for today